So now our model is complete and ready for UV mapping and texturing. Before moving further, let's have a quick introduction of UV mapping. So now we have a cylinder and we want to prepare it for UV unwrapping. Let's split this window and assign this UV editor or UV image editor. So what we are going to do is unfold or flatten out this 3D mesh onto this 2D plane. Spread it here and assign an image which will then be painted with relation to the faces and vertices or the UV coordinates. Now to unwrap it we need to cut it. For this we need to have seams from where it will be cut. We mark this edge as a seam. Press Ctrl E and select mark seam. The 3D object will be cut from here and spread out into a nice rectangle here. Press U to bring out the UV menu and select unwrap. So the mesh is cut from the seam we mark. This marking of seam depend upon the model and your own preference. There is no hard rule. For example, we can have another seam here and I will get two pieces. If I had a cap and then I unwrap this, I will have this result. If I mark C here and then unwrap, the result will look better. We can clear any seam by selecting clear seam. In the UE image editor, the basic transformation commands remain the same. A to select, deselect. B to drag select, G to move, S for scale, R to rotate and to select all linked vertices press L. Another useful command is W key to align the vertices. Next important tool is this button. This sync the UV and mesh selection highlights the selected edge or point of face selected in any side. We can assign an image to the UV coordinates from here. Set the dimension. Press Alt Z in the 3D view to see texture. Now, as we paint here in the image editor, we can see the effect in the 3D object in the 3D view. We can also paint directly in the model by selecting the texture paint mode. Press C in the image editor to bring out more brush and color options. The image also gets updated while painting directly over the model. And you can save the image from here. Let's get back to our model. To be on the safe side, I we will work on duplicated mesh. 
select all press shift D to duplicate and press M and press 2 to move the new selected object into layer 2 press 2 again or this button to go to the layer split the window and assign this to UV image editor select body and press slash key above the numpad to get into local view now select the edges to mark seam the best way to study seams is from real life clothes Press Ctrl E and select Mark Seam. The important thing here is that we have mirror modifier assigned to the mesh. So we don't have to work on the other leg. In the face select mode, press L anywhere on the leg to select the part separated by seams and press U and, and then further select and then click on unwrap now we move on marking seams for torso Again press L to select the part and U to unwrap it. <laughs> Same for the arms. For the hands, instead of unwrap options, sometimes I prefer going to the top view and selecting project from view option and spread out the points. for the head unwrapping would be good if we want to paint in symmetry but here we want to paint the head in a non symmetrical way so before we unwrap the head we apply the mirror modifier
after applying the mirror modifier we see that the UV maps for both right leg and left leg are on top of the each other that is any bending effect will be seen on both legs symmetrically to unwrap head mark seam as shown and unwrap it Now UV mapping for the body is complete. Press slash key again to get out of the local view and select skirt. Apply the mirror modifier. And mark seam. Press U to unwrap. You can tweak and align the points. Select the points and press W and then click on X or Y axis to align. Select shirt, apply the mirror modifier first as we don't want it to be symmetrical. Mark seams and Unwrap it. For the front part, I like to select project from view and then relax the points with Control V. Unwrap the color mesh. For the bow, don't apply the mirror modifier now as we want it to be symmetrical. For the hairs, I will mark the seam in such a way so that I can get this part underneath separated from the top part. Also, I will be marking seam here to separate the front part.
when done check for modifiers and apply them select all objects and then press ctrl J to join them press tab and we see that we have our UV mixed up select each and rearrange them into the light gray area Take care while moving symmetrical parts which are on top of each other. Press L twice to select both the parts like legs, arms, hands which are symmetrical. and finally save the file